drones. Jetpack company comes out with electric VTOL concept. After giving the world its first working jetpack, David Maimon and company are bringing to life yet another science fiction dream, flying cars. Jetpack Aviation is designing a new single-seat electric multi-copter equipped with six arms, 12 propellers, and landing balls instead of skids. Each arm on the VTOL aircraft comes with two propellers, one mounted on top and another underneath. They spin in opposite directions. The flying car will only be able to travel up to 90 miles per hour and operate up to 20 minutes before it needs to be recharged. Two of the middle arms will be designed to fold in so that the vehicle will be low and thin enough to fit inside a garage. Jetpack Aviation is currently developing a safety system for the project, with the team estimating that they will begin building the device in about six months. The sky's the limit for Amazon's flying warehouses. Amazon has filed a patent for a self-driving airship that can store inventory and be used as a base to launch delivery drones. Amazon's airborne fulfillment centers would hover at an altitude of 45,000 feet and be the focal point of a network of unmanned aerial vehicles. The self-driving airships would carry a cargo of Amazon products and unmanned drones to deliver goods to customers. According to a patent filed by Amazon, the drones would navigate horizontally to their destination and would use little to no power. The airships would be replenished by smaller unmanned service vehicles, which could carry workers, drones, fuel and inventory. One potential use of the airships could be for large events, such as concerts or football games, where they could be used to deliver souvenirs or food. The patent for the Amazon airship was filed in 2014, but only came to light last week. Amazon has successfully tested deliveries by drone in the UK and is waiting for federal approval to roll out the service in the United States. Dutch police train eagles to take down drones. Dutch police are tackling a high-tech problem with a low-tech solution, training eagles to take down drones. This video released by the force shows the majestic birds of prey learning to combat potential scourges of the sky. Although still in the testing phase, police said this new flying squad could be used to neutralize drones flown by criminals or terrorists. Earlier this month, a British think tank warned terrorists could use drones as airborne explosive devices or to attack world leaders. A Dutch police spokesman explained that the eagles see the drones as prey. Once it has plucked the device from the sky, an eagle will take it to a place where there are no other birds or people. The police will make a decision on whether to set up a dedicated anti-drone eagle unit within the next few months. The force said it was also examining several other ways to combat drones, including equipment to remotely take control of the devices. Dubai to introduce flying drone taxis this summer. Need to go to work, but don't feel like waiting at rush hour? Dubai is set to go all Jetsons this summer by offering flying drone taxis. The Dubai Roads and Transport Authority has announced it will start operating drone taxis in July along predetermined routes. They will be using the Ehang 184 Autonomous Quad Opener Electric Drone to shuttle people around the city via air. The Ehang 184 drone can carry one passenger with a maximum weight of 220 pounds. The drone can fly 31 miles on one charge at a top speed of 100 miles per hour, although officials said their drones will operate at 62 miles per hour. Passengers will board the drone, buckle into a harness, and select a destination on the touchscreen before taking off. The Ehang drones will be monitored through a central command center on the ground. Ambulance drone could help save lives faster. A Texas-based design firm has illustrated its idea for an ambulance drone, which could help transport patients faster and more efficiently than regular ambulances or helicopters. The ambulance drone is modeled after a standard quadcopter. It is roughly the size of a compact car. The drone can follow a GPS signal or be controlled by a pilot. It is able to travel above traffic and other obstacles on the ground, allowing the drone to arrive at its destination faster than regular ambulances. Given its relatively small size, the drone is able to land almost anywhere. 
There is enough space inside for one patient and a medical worker. It can either travel on autopilot or be controlled by a pilot remotely in the event of difficult takeoffs and landings. A single pilot can also control an entire fleet of ambulance drones remotely. Although the company believes the ambulance drone is a feasible concept, it admits the cost for each device could be in the million dollar range. Airbus unveils a flying taxi. Airbus has announced its development of a flying taxi, which aims at solving traffic congestion worldwide. Airbus's electric flying vehicle is currently named the City Airbus. Test flights will be conducted in enclosed flight corridors at the National University of Singapore in mid-2017. The drones can travel to and from locations on the campus and port. Researchers plan to develop a machine vision system to allow the city Airbus to detect obstacles and function completely autonomously. Airbus says it envisions customers ordering rides in the future with their smartphones and city Airbus vehicles landing outside their front doors. Airbus is targeting this product to transport service providers such as Uber. They believe sharing the cost of a flying taxi by multiple customers could lower the price to nearly the same as a normal taxi ride. Amazon submits patent for drone docking stations. When Amazon announced it would soon deliver prime packages via drones, it didn't account for long distance travel. But the company has thought of a solution. Docking stations in areas where dedicated facilities are far and few in between. Amazon has submitted a patent for using tall structures, like lamp posts, as docking and recharging stations for its delivery drones. The patent is for a series of multi-use unmanned aerial vehicle docking stations, which would enable drones to recharge remotely in between deliveries. The company would also be able to provide navigational guidance to lost drones. Lost drones would send error signals to local antennas, which would respond by directing the drone to a nearby station. From there, the drone would receive rerouting information to complete its delivery. The stations could also double as delivery hubs, where drones can drop off packages to be picked up by its receiving Amazon Prime user or another drone for further delivery. Amazon wants to allow drones to perch atop existing tall structures, such as lamp posts, cell towers, power poles, and buildings. The company is looking to develop a system of UAV drones that would deliver packages within 30 minutes or less. China unveils the first drone that is capable of carrying a passenger. A Chinese company has revealed what it says is the world's first autonomous aerial vehicle, or AAV, which is a drone capable of carrying a human passenger. Guangzhou company Yihang unveiled the Yihang 184 supersized single-seater quadcopter this week at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. The Yihang 184's aluminum frame and composite body carry eight 142 horsepower motors to power its eight propellers, with two situated on each of the drone's four arms. It takes between two to four hours to charge. According to the company, the user can simply get in, power up the drone, select a destination, and the device will take care of everything else. It can fly a 264-pound passenger up to an altitude of around 11,000 feet traveling at speeds of up to 62 miles per hour for up to 23 minutes, with a maximum range of around 10 miles. Navigation and collision avoidance is taken care of by the drone's range of built-in sensors and computer systems. Once passengers arrive at their destination, the drone's rotor arms can be folded up for convenient storage. The manufacturer says the drone will be commercially available later this year, with a price somewhere between $200,000 and $300,000. It's now working towards getting certification from the FAA. What are you waiting for? It is now legal for North Dakota police to use drones to fire tasers and tear gas at people. Thanks to the work of a lobbyist who represents law enforcement and has ties with the drone industry, a bill was passed by the North Dakota State House that allows police to use armed drones. 
After obtaining a search warrant from a judge, North Dakota police can deploy drones to collect real-time intelligence video for criminal evidence. These police drones, however, are now also allowed to carry less than lethal weapons, like rubber bullets, pepper spray, tear gas, sound cannons, and tasers. But even less than lethal weapons can kill. According to The Guardian, at least 39 people have been killed by police tasers in 2015. With these weapons, police could potentially fire on criminal suspects from far away, much like how U.S. Air Force drone pilots bomb ISIS militants from 10,000 miles away. According to the FAA, 401 drone operations were undertaken by the Grand Forks County, North Dakota Sheriff's Department in the past three years. The department insists there were only 21 flights. Drones are seen as a positive thing in North Dakota, which, according to the Daily Beast, may be the reason why few people noticed when the House bill passed with a clause allowing them to be armed with less than lethal weapons.